Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to create a split section in your Weebly site. All right, so this video tutorial is going to follow the written step by step tutorial that can be found on Weebly Tricks. I will post a link to that written step by step tutorial in the description of this video. All right, let's get started. So, coming over here to our Weebly editor, this is the demo site we'll be using. As you can see, it has um, it has quite a few section elements, okay. and we're going to install a split section right below the banner image and right above the main content area. All right, let's get started. Step one: open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Let's go back to the Weebly editor. Click on theme at the top, and on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. And that will open Weebly's HTML CSS editor for us. All right. Step two, add HTML coding. All right, now copy the code, the HTML, the HTML code that's provided, go back to your Weebly editor, and on the left, under header type, choose the page layout that you want the split section to appear on. For our particular uh, tutorial, uh, the home page has, is using the header page layout. So I'm going to click on the header page layout. And now scroll down until you find the main content div, which in, for this particular theme is called div class equal main wrap. And you know it's the main content div if it has the white content mustache code contained within it. Now Depending on where you paste the code you just copied will determine where the split section appears on your site. So if you paste it above the main content div, the split section will appear above the main content drag and drop area that you're familiar with. And if you paste the code that you copied below the main content div, the split section will appear below the main drag and drop area that you're familiar with. So for this particular uh, tutorial, we're going to paste the HTML code uh, directly above the main content div. All right, and if a red dot appears, just delete that. Let me tidy this up real quick. All right, back to the tutorial. Step three, add CSS coding. Now copy the code, the CSS code that's provided in the written step-by-step -step tutorial. Head back over to your site. And on the left, under styles, click on main.less. And this will open the CSS file. If you're using a um, an older Weebly theme from, from say, uh, generation, a generation three Weebly theme or prior, your uh, CSS file will likely be, be named main-styles.css. All right, now in the CSS file, I'm going to search for the main content div, I'm sorry, the main content coding, the CSS coding that um, is used by the main content area, just for organizational purposes. Um, and I'm gonna paste the split section CSS coding that I copied from the written step-by-step -step tutorial right in this vicinity. Right, uh, and again, if a, uh, a red dot appears, just delete that. Right, and if you want, you can give yourself a little title here. Split section. So you know what this coding works for. All right, at the bottom here, click save, back to the editor, click save. All right. Step four, drag and drop Weebly elements. All right, back to the Weebly editor, go to build at the top and grab any Weebly, sorry, grab any Weebly element you want on the left and drag and drop it into uh, either split section. This is the first 
section. This is the second split section. All right. All right, guys. So that is how you create a split section in your Weebly site.